it's Sandy Parker and welcome to Crafting for Almost Everyone. Well, I had my hip replaced a week and a half ago and uh, I was bored and so I've bought a lot of things. I can't stand up so I can't change things so you'll just kind of have to bear with me. Um, I bought these two 3D special effects uh, colors from Tupelo Designs and I bought this no clog writing cap that I'm hoping that I'll be able to use with um, some really big tacky glue that I also got and I got a couple of those rinkers that you know I love I bought more things from Tupelo Designs but I put them away I also bought these from Amazon they're the next level of embossing folders and they're supposed to emboss much, much deeper and etch into the paper much thicker. So that's pretty cool. And I, um, somebody that I bought something from on eBay sent me this cool camera and a thing that says, oh snap, beside it. That's kind of cute. And I think it was the person that I bought these templates from. Uh, you know I'm into these all of a sudden. I haven't used the I they're from Creative Creative Memories. Yeah. And um, you cut you cut either the inside or the outside. So I'm gonna make some cards that are shaped in weird shapes or have openings in them, like the inside of the star or the inside of this. And I bought more, but I don't know if they're here yet. If I get to them, I'll let you know. Then I bought uh, from an Etsy uh, seller. These are blanks for um, for coasters and all they are are three inch, a little bit smaller and four inch square and I decided I would figure out things to do with them with paper crafts but I didn't want a whole bunch of any one size until I figured out what I wanted to do with them so ooh, a couple of them flew overboard so I bought them, I just bought six of them from an Etsy dealer and uh, they're called um, Blanks, Coaster Blanks then I went to a website of a of a, uh, a rubber stamp company that I absolutely love. It's called Just for Fun, and I hope you can I'll turn these all the same way. I hope you can see some of these. This is a fishbowl. These are two little rabbits. This is a row of carrots, a butterfly, a pine cone, a moose, another butterfly. Maybe it's the same butterfly. No, another butterfly. A cool design. Uh, a stamp for um, St. Patrick's Day. A big background stamp for St. Patrick's Day. And I love this one. It says, Do I smell jelly beans for Easter? I thought that was hysterical. Then um, I, from Tupelo Designs again, I bought these dynamic um, stitched square dies. They're having a contest in February for something with uh, Dynamics dies, and I figured I would start with those. Then I got this W plus 9 stamp. don't even remember where I got this. I bought a bunch of stamps from a lady, but I don't remember exactly. I think it was from Split Coast Stampers. Not exactly sure. Then I got, I love stencils, as you know. I got this one from Tim Holtz that is a um, spider web. These are all from Joann's because I went on a crazy Joann's binge. Uh, pointy, uh, you know, stars. I love this one. Keyholes. Um, ferns. I really thought this one was pretty. It's a Tim Holtz. It's floral. Um, this one is uh, cherry blossoms. Then I bought a vagabond and this is a, a, the die I guess you need for it and this is another thing I guess you need for it for thin dies. I bought this from Tupelo Designs as well. It's a stencil that's cr I'm I'm trying to catch up on Christmas since I didn't I wasn't really prepared for it this year so next year I'm going to be I think these are Tim Holtz stamps that I got from a lady on Split Coast that's a typewriter and wait, let me see if I can put them against the background you can actually see something on these red rubber things are sticking like glue. Holy crap, holy! I can't get them out of the way. Okay, here we go. Um, she, these are uh, some cool edge stamps, and these I love these birds. I thought they were really fun. Got those from a, a lady on Split Coast that was just trying to get rid of her stamps, and I thought these were really fun. You never know. Could have been 
craziness. Then I've been looking for this set for a long time, and a lady on Split Coast had both the punch and the um, stamps, so I got those. And then on eBay I found these letters because I like to make monogram things. Oh, here's that other set. I didn't know if I if I already came or not. This is the other set from Creative Memories that kind of goes with this set. These are, this one of them is a pentagon and one of them is an octagon and then this huge oval that I probably will get rid of because I don't have any need for something that big because I don't do anything with um, uh, scrapbooking. Then, I'll put this in the comments, but this is the coolest tool ever. You know in the Misty how I don't know about all of you, but I can't get those, I would say a dirty word, but I'm not going to, I can't get those magnets apart. Oh, I did it wrong. So what you do is you put your magnets in there, you, you put your magnets, they're all stuck together in there, and this goes and it pops it out the side and separates them. This is a genius tool from a very clever woodworker. Uh, his name is David, and I think he's a genius. I'm also having him make a, um, a thing to hold my glue gun that also will hold some of my glue sticks, and I'll let, let you see that when it comes, but I thought this was great, and I, I mean, I know it's kind of foolish to spend money on a tool like this, but if you have problems like I have, and you have no other way to get those things apart, there's your answer. Then I bought, uh, hold on, uh, I can't figure out, oh well, okay, I had an AC Moore buy that was mostly, they had their um, acrylic paints on sale, so I bought a uh, bazillion of them, and they had glue sticks, I had a 50% off coupon, and I bought a bunch of glue sticks. A very, very, very nice lady that I met through my YouTube channel named Alicia. Thank you, Alicia. You are the greatest. Sent me a box of things that she said she no longer uses because she loves my web or my my YouTube site. And I could not ask for somebody to be so more thoughtful and sweet. And she's just the nicest lady. But anyway, here's some of the things. Well, I'll show you everything she sent me because why not? I have nothing better to do because I'm not allowed to get up and I'm only allowed to sit for 20 minutes three times a day. That's why I'm talking so so quickly. She sent me this stamp set, and if you know, uh, I have a real love for splattery things. I don't use them uh, uh, except for in backgrounds, but love them. The other thing that I'm not sure if you know yet, or maybe you do, but I, whoa, something overboard. That wasn't from her box, thank goodness. Love, absolutely love Halloween anything. She gave me all those Halloween stamps, plus these Stampers Anonymous. Love them. Plus, she gave me, look at these cute embellishments. Hold on, i got to get this stuff out of the way because I want you to be able to see stuff as I put it out because, you know, the colors. Oh, boy, overboard. Um, hopefully you can see these. Aren't they adorable? Then she sent me um, a spectacular Halloween, or have a ha have a spectacular Halloween. Share the joy of the season. Uh, aren't those the coolest things? They're little bottles of poison. And I haven't killed Rich yet, and he hasn't killed me, so we're doing good so far. She sent me two. St oops. Oh, I wish I could lean better. Uh, Sam, uh, she sent me a Ranger Archival Purple and a Simon Says Stamp Willow. Both love, love, love those colors. Then she sent me a stamp set that I have been thinking about buying forever. It's the Party Dog set from Lost, Lost Coast Designs. So cute. Love them. Then she sent me a, um, I think this is Merry Christmas uh, embossing folder. She sent me um, some chipboard pieces, cardboard, you know I call it cardboard. She sent me this creepy box of stuff. Look at the hand. Creepy! Love it. Love it more than anything. Can't tell you how much I love that. Then uh, another set that I wanted to buy because of that um, shape. Love it. Then she sent me this box of, of birds and flowers and more birds and flowers. Then she sent me deep red, love deep red uh, stamps. She sent me um, K and Company so cool frame. She sent me uh, four Spellbinders dies. I hope you can see these because now I'm just stacking another uh, embossing uh, edger. Some more uh, embellishments. Wait till you see this stamp. Isn't this stamp gorgeous? Oh, I love it. Look at this one. 
fall, and uh, I just love Halloween and fall. If it wasn't for the fact that, uh, that winter was coming, I would absolutely love it more than life itself, but because I know winter's coming, sometimes there's a depression about fall. Then there's more embellishments. She made some cards that she gave me. She gave me, you know, it's my horrible obsession ribbon. And I'd like to go further, but I'm going to stop because my box is, my stuff is going to overflow. I'm going to stop with my absolute favorite stamp in the whole world. I told her about this stamp, and I said, I've been looking forever for this stamp. And she goes, oh, I've never even used it, and I happen to have it. It's called Tableau of Terror by Stampin' Up. Is it in fact the greatest stamp ever? Look with that hand. I could put that hand on. All right, could be the drugs talking now. So I do what I just want to say, Alicia. Thank you so so much. Love all the things you sent me, Alicia. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Tableau of Terror. I can't. I just can't even tell you how much I am so happy about that. And I'm gonna throw this box on the floor before it ruins my hips. Okay. You know there's a lot more in it when it made that noise. So thank you to uh, Alicia and um, oh. I also got a bunch of stamps from Rubber Stamp uh, Tapestry, and I don't know what I did with those, but um, I will show those to you in my next video. I am going to do another video really quickly in the next day or so, hopefully I can do this, where I'm going to show you how to make a, um, a heart, um, an origami, uh, excuse me, an origami heart, um, that you can use as a bookmarker or you can hang it on the side of something and I also know how to make an origami bowl I think what I'm going to do is uh, make the origami heart put it on the origami bowl and they would both be um, thanks or yeah Thanksgiving crazy girl Valentine's influenced so um, I hope you will stay tuned for that. I uh, really hope after I do this haul video that will still be functional, but I'm really excited about doing it because I've been practicing laying down, and let me tell you, if you can do origami laying down, you can do just about anything. Of course, it's not totally squared off like it should be, but um, I gave it a shot. So thank you so much for watching. As always, please give this a thumbs up. There's the thumb. It's pathetic, but it's there. And um, please subscribe, and I'll be back, I promise. So that's my scoop. Thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.